So, with the release of the next issue of what is arguably one of the most horrendous Mar um, Spider-Man stories in recent times, trust me, I can think of a few others that are pretty bad as well, um, I kind of had this thought. I just had this thought in my head that just made me go, yeah, why are we doing that? Like, why are we... Like, why are we still doing this? This is this is kind of fucked up. Like, why are we still here? I was like, why are we still here? Just to suffer? And I had that moment. I had this brilliant, just, moment. And it's the same moment I had after seeing Velma. Just stop. That's really all I can say is... I know a lot of people complain about, like... And trust me, I will probably give my full thoughts when we get the full story on the Zeb Wells thing. But the thing of it is, is, like, people are just hate-reading this issue now. And I think to myself, why are we doing this? It's just... It, we win nothing. It's kind of like when, um... All these right-wing... All these right-wing, you know, knuckleheads just buy uh, Bud Light cans that are celebrating Pride and blow them up. I'm like, that's cool. They still got your money, though. Like, that's the thing. Like, it's it, it's this weird thing where, like, we think we're sticking it to the corporation by trashing the thing when really they don't care as long as we have our money. And it comes back to the old thing of vote with your dollar, right? Like, it always comes back to um, vote with your dollar. But no one really thinks about that. It's the same thing with, like, perfect example. Hey, we literally hate watched Velma into getting a second season and god forbid and god knows that we're gonna people are gonna hate watch season two trash it and then it's gonna get a seat it's gonna get so much viewership it i'm just throwing that out there i hope i'm not i hope i'm wrong that what will happen is that we'll just um uh <laughs> we'll just it, like we'll just hate watch another episode we'll, another season of uh <laughs> of this series into existence. Like, that's what I'm afraid might happen. I'm hoping I'm wrong that maybe after season two comes out, they'll, like, just stop. Like, the, like people will just be like, nah, one season was good enough for me. Rather than just be, oh, I'm gonna hate watch and then I'm gonna review and talk about how shitty it is. That's cool, they still got your viewership. They still got your money. Um, and it's the same thing with this, where I'm like, I don't want to pay for this. And the only reason I'm keeping up with it is because I'm following, like, people who are forcing themselves to keep up with it. And that's, like, Kate Joel and other reviewers on here. And I have been looking through, without paying, I'm just kind of looking online, some YouTube channels have been, like, copying the pages. So I've been watching, I've been reading, the. I've been reading it on YouTube. And I'm just like, this is really god-awful. I'm glad I'm not paying for it. <laughs> and I feel like that's the thing. It's the same thing with, um, another thing I stopped, I just stopped was Ladybug and Cat Noir. I was so in fucking infuriated by that um, halfway through season three and then the end of, I mean, the end of season three and then season four, I just gave up. I just stopped. <laughs> I, I was like, there's a season five out and it's got like nine episodes out? Well, all right, that's cool. I think I actually gave up in, after the end of season three. That's even better. That's even more accurate. I did watch a few episodes of season four and then they ruined that for me. So I was like, I'm done. I think that's a mentality we kind of need to get back to with media, is that if we don't like something, we just ignore it, rather than try to, you know, rather than try to, you know, be like, ha ha, I hate this thing, even though I spent money on it. You know what, what corporations do care about when they're, um, you know, when something is big and like, you know, it's something is, it, it has a major effect to them is when they don't get the money. Like, here's a perfect example. I'm cycling back to, you know, the reason for this is the Zeb Wells Spider-Man run. And again, I, I try my best not, and I understand he is not blameless. But I, and I, but I understand that Zeb Wells is a really good writer. I've met the guy. He's very nice. Um, and I understand that, like, it's probably not so much him, but more like editorial kind of dictating this. And I would not be shocked if, like, they wanted to make they wanted to make a comic that was so bad people would hate read it. I would not be shocked if that's the case. Like if they revealed that was the reason, yeah. It's kind of like, and I've heard this. I don't know if it's true or not, but like I've heard that like Joe Quesada, one of the major reasons Joe Quesada really made 
uh, one more day was because it was just him getting back at his ex-wife. Like he, it was just him being nat, like projecting all of his anger out on his ex-wife during a divorce. I don't know if that's true. I could almost believe it, but I don't. I don't want to say it's true or not. But it does. Like that does sound like Quesada. From what I've heard of report of like him as a person, he sounds very petty. So I would not put it past him. But again, I don't know if that's true or not. Um. But yeah, so, um, yeah, but I, I get it. It's, it's that it's the it, it's the same thing with one more day. We hate Reddit, and it, we still they still got our money. Yeah, it, it, it they still did it because Joe Quesada, come hell or high water, wanted to make Spider Man single again. But like here, um, here it's like we could just stop, and I feel like Marvel would be hurt for that. There's a reason why Spider-Man has not been a well-selling book. Like, it sells well, but it's never been a number one um, comic for a long time. I think the highest was Nick Spencer's run, which Nick Spencer's run was did have its moments. And I feel like Nick Spencer's run forgot it was a Spider-Man title half the time. And I feel like it forgot the main plot till the end. And, yeah... But it, we can't deny that it did have some good Spider-Man moments with him, and, and especially with him and Mary Jane. And I believe, and I feel like this is the general consensus with a lot of other people, is that um, Nick Spencer was going to get them back together, was going to get Spider-Man, you're going to get Peter and MJ back together, while the editors were asleep at the wheel, and then they found out, so they put a co-writer on there to be like their um, eyes as he was writing the rest of, of the series. So that was kind of it. Here, I feel like Zeb Wells is just being a dutiful writer, and I, and I've seen a lot of his other work. It's a lot better. Um, but yeah, I don't even I don't even think like I think this is the reason why Chip Zdarsky, as much as he loved the um, you know, Spider Man, I don't think that's I think that's why he never did the Amazing Spider Man title, was because he was going to get constrained by the editorial group. And perfect example like this story is apparently going to be so monumentally hated by the end of it is that his edit like the spider-man editors have advised zeb wells don't come go to conventions for like a year i'm like that's not good <laughs> like they're gonna like that you're admitting that this is not good by any means necessary by any means at all but again it goes back to why are we endorsing this like like why are we like in full support of this idea for a you know why are we kind of like we're kind of feeding the machine aren't we like we're kind of just kind of like it's kind of like that uh that song by uh poor man's poison you know feed the machine i just think of that it's gonna st be stuck in my head now great but i feel like that we need to get if we want something really not like if we don't like something, just stop. Like, that's been my thing. Like, And I know I went on a kind of a ramble, and I don't know where I'm going with this tangent, but here's been my theory, and I hope some of you guys agree with me. If we just don't like something, just ignore it. Just give up. Like, just don't pay for it. If I, uh, I didn't like where Ladybug was, go where Ladybug and Cat Noir was going, I stopped. I didn't care where Ru Ruby was going after... Uh, the last series ended. Series not uh, where volume nine ended. Was it? Yeah, volume volume eight. Excuse me, where volume eight ended, and I just stopped. I although to be fair, I have like kept my ear to the ground to volume nine because I've heard like it really like unnecessary is unnecessarily mean spirited to Ruby her set the character. And I'm like this is not a like hmm. I don't know what it is like why they have to mentally torment characters who haven't earned that. And you could say, oh, but Ruby's been dealing with all this trauma for the past eight seasons. I'm like, yeah, but they're not doing, from the way it sounds like it, they're not doing it in a healthy way. I don't know, maybe I'll give my, I don't know, maybe I'll give my thoughts on it, after, but I don't know, I haven't kept up with the show at all, so that will be it for another time. But my point is, I stopped. After I saw Velma, I stopped. Simple as that. Well, I didn't even finish Velma. I, fin I did, like... I finished. I did like five episodes, then I stopped because I knew where this was going, and then everyone else filled spoiler filled me, and I'm like, that's really dumb. I'm glad I'm not. And that's the same thing with this Zeb Wells Spider-Man run, is that it's so monumentally stupid, and it's so monumentally hated 
why are people paying money to, to do this? Like, why are pay, uh, people, like, paying money to do these things? Like, to, to it kind of endorse this, like, yeah, this is garbage, but you're still reading it. I don't see the... I, I, and I understand, like, in Devil's Advocate, I do understand that there is, like, people out there who do re review these comics because that's their living. Like, again, Cape Joel, Variant Comics, uh, Comic Pop, all of these people depend on reading these comics because they know they will get views for it, and that will get them through their livelihood. I understand that. I'm talking about, like, you know, I'll, like, I'm just kind of, like, there's a, gen like, there's a general public out there that I feel like could change this, and to be fair, this book should be could be so fucking hated by the end of it that Marvel just go. And, and the other thing about comics is that things get retconned all the time. I mean, hell, Nick Spencer's run half hazardly um, retconned the whole thing with Peter. I mean, not not Peter, Gwen and uh, and Norman's uh, children. They kind of retconned that. So. Who knows? Maybe in a few years, maybe in a year or so, or less than a year or so, we find out that Paul was really Mephisto, and this whole thing was him playing a game to keep Peter and MJ apart. Hell, issue twenty-six could be that. <laughs> like, I would laugh hysterically um, because I've been saying, like, wouldn't it be fun? Like this whole time, I've been saying, like, wouldn't it be funny if, like, Paul, this Paul douchebag, was Mephisto, and it's not really kids; it's just demons, and she's he's just terrorizing. Um, He's just kind of keeping MJ locked away because he threatened to kill Peter or something like that. I wouldn't. How would you bet? Like that would be that could probably that might be a retcon in the future. If not, that's already planned. Like I promise you, something like that or something that level of stupid um, could happen. Um, anyway, so yeah, I don't know. Like that's just been kind of the point of the video is just walk away from it. Just walk away from something you just don't like. You know, like, it's no longer a part of your universe. You got, to quote Buddha, you gotta let that shit go. <laughs> that's kind of where it, where I am with, with Spider-Man, that's where I am with Ruby, that's where I am with Velma, that's where I am with a lot of things. It's just, if I don't like something, I'm not gonna hate watch it, that just gives more power to the thing. So I'm just gonna walk away from it. So, here you go. Anyway. So, there's my little video for you guys. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.